the cannonball would be moving so fast that its forward motion would perfectly balance the downward pull of gravity. The cannonball would be in a continuous state of freefall, but the Earth's surface would curve away from it at the same rate. As a result, the cannonball would never hit the ground and would perpetually orbit the planet in a perfect circle. Newton further theorized that if the cannonball's speed was greater than the orbital velocity but not high enough to escape Earth's gravity entirely, it would follow an elliptical path. Finally, if the cannonball reached a speed known as escape velocity, it would break free from Earth's gravitational pull and travel into space indefinitely. This elegant thought experiment showed that an orbit is not a magical state, but a natural consequence of a body's inertia, its tendency to move in a straight line, and the continuous pull of gravity. It proved that the same force that makes an apple fall from a tree is what keeps the moon in orbit around the Earth. Newton's cannonball provided a foundational understanding of celestial mechanics, proving that a single, universal law could explain both terrestrial and cosmic phenomena, a concept that remains central to physics today.